Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom what will, Hearts. What will finally be the final part of the Kingdom Hearts 2 randomizer. Okay, yeah, so I'm back. Cosmic is back. Back to slander Kingdom Hearts once again. <laughs> okay, so I got four things I want to do in this episode. Um, so we have... I want to show you the goofy death scene, because if I can't do it now, I don't know <laughs> if I ever could do it. That, like, Luxord boss that was blocking it. I want to show you yeah. um, the most cringe minigame in all of Kingdom Hearts. I want to show you the Sephiroth boss, and I want to show you, and then we'll do the final boss. So which one of those do you want to do first? Well, clearly we need to see Goofy die, just so he can come back for Sephiroth. Okay. <laughs> You fly so fast. I love I love glide so much. That's his run animation in Smash. Like he does a he does the glide instead. Yeah, yeah. just like um, a three out of four Kingdom Hearts or uh, just Square Enix characters. In yeah, Smash. all the Square characters glide for some reason, except for Hero. Oh yeah, this is gonna be much easier. I don't think this is Data Luxord, which is good, at least. Data Luxord is actually, like, legit really hard. Ooh, okay. <laughs> there. So this guy is, um, this fight is sort of on a soft time limit, and by, like, performing his minigames and, um, destroying these cards, you lower his time bar, which also doubles as a health bar for him. This is a really gimmicky fight, but, like, it's super fun once you, like, actually get a handle of and everything. If you fail these minigames, he turns you into a card, which is really funny. <laughs> oh, okay, this part's... this is just pick the right card of him on it. He's behind here. Get a full combo off on him. Okay. Uh, he's in the middle. Wait! I never knew that, but the... okay, did you see that? The, the pattern on the floor... Apparently, is it the same, like, Y-axis or something? Because, like, it obscure it obstructed the cards. Look at that. <laughs> I never knew that. Where is he? Uh, here. There we go. Again, the kind of shit you learn doing a randomizer. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm not sure what it is, but the, the stream seems to be suffering more than usual. Oh. And I mean... Suffering at all because it doesn't usually do that. Hold on. Do you want me to like reset it? Yeah, hold on. Hold on. I can't believe Kingdom Hearts is trying to destroy your computer Uh, Join call First, that isn't real, but is a clone <laughs> Okay Uh all right, let's try this. Look who's on top of the game. <laughs> Is this better? Well, I guess I'll see. <laughs> nope. No? I, I guess I'll just have to live through it. <laughs> oh no. I don't remember it having issues before. Do you know the rules? Do you know the rules? Gotcha. Yeah, go get him. There we go. We got Mickey's house I can't house believe he's map, dead. And we got Cosmic <laughs> Arts. Yeah, Cosmic is taking commissions right now. I don't know if you'll be taking commissions in like four months when this video goes- I just <laughs> skipped the goofy death scene! Well, time to reset. <laughs> I actually will reset. Hold on, hold on. I- Fuck me, my muscle memory and just skipping cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, uh, you, all of Game Dog's audience should uh, give me their money. <sighs> give Cosmic money for steamed gift cards or whatever it is you wanted. <laughs> yeah. What are you even going to so buy? So I can you make irresponsible purchases. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I gotta buy like TF2 items. You know, I've been buying original game. Yeah. I'm just buying cosmetics for stuff. <laughs> 
I mean, I don't even know if I can, like... I don't, like, if I get a new game, I don't know if it's even gonna, like, work on my laptop. <laughs> Because it's not like a super heavy-duty gamer computer or anything. Is the stream any better, by the way? Not really, it's still stuttering here and there. Like, it's still watchable though, right? Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's not skip the cutscene this time. <laughs> having to redo the fight because you skipped the goofy death scene. Thank god I love this boss. This is like a really fun fight. On the final form. Getting dog dragging me to watch Kingdom Hearts when I I could be playing Half Life. I could be gaming. <laughs> Dude, I could be gaming. Okay, we're at this part. Uh, middle. Look that. Look closely. I think this one. Yep, okay. In Kingdom Hearts 3, you can fight this guy again. Um, and he turns the cards away from the camera, not from Sora, so you can't cheat by swiveling the camera in, the, in that in that fight. Here. Yeah, I can't believe they don't let you cheat. It's kind of rude. It's also a data fight. <laughs> oh, a challenge, you say? Good. Right there. Remember not to skip it this time. You gotta watch Scoofy die. During the data fight version of this, like, final section, I swear you have to be frame perfect for, like, that last input. <laughs> like, that is a brutal fight in... in... <laughs> <laughs> so, and now and now we watch Goofy die. Okay, so Goofy's it's gonna going. be very funny. Also, if you want to indulge me until the end of this world, there's not much left after this, but we could see what boss replaces Sephiroth, because once um we're done with this world, you can actually fight Sephiroth in the base game. Sephiroth. I just want to see what boss is Sephiroth is in this. What if it's uh, <laughs> what if it's the, the easy version of Sephiroth? It's just the normal version. Okay, here's the thing I found weird. Apparently the portal I found is for the normal Lark scene fight and not the data Lark scene fight, so it's the easier version. So I don't know why that got shuffled, but I guess we're not fighting the super hard Sephiroth. There he is. Sephiroth's difficulty not is... Not Bugs Bunny. <laughs> ...is really weird in this game, like... Okay, like, I am a boomer, and I was kind of young when this happened, but, like, do you remember back when, like, Terraria just came out, and, like, Skeletron of all fights yeah. was considered, like, the end-all, be-all of indie game difficulty? Yeah. But, like, nowadays, what what's considered difficult in an indie game is power crept so much, even within just that game, that the fight's not really that bad anymore. That's kind of what Sephiroth feels like. It's like, back in 2004, this was, like, the hardest- Oh, and there we go! <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe that all of his organs fell out. <laughs> Back in like 2004, There's so much blood. He was the hardest fight in the game, but like now with all the like data fights and like lingering will, he's now like the tenth hardest boss in the game. <laughs> I'm sorry about the ice cream. I don't remember the context of that line. It's been so long since I've actually watched these cutscenes. I realize this means war. Can't. Oh my god, they I actually... can't believe the cartoon died. I can't believe they I, I I forgot they actually play this like for real. And there's his actual Kingdom Hearts design. <laughs> this 
actually been a couple years since I've seen this scene. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Goofy is removed from the party. Also, Donald. Oh well, yeah, because he's dead forever. Oh, yeah, he haste. Yeah, forever. He doesn't show up in Kingdom Hearts three. That's something I've always wanted to try. And his body's gone. <laughs> oh my god! I might have to test this someday, but I don't. I'm not in the mood right now. If you can leave that area, that probably means you can leave the world. Can you, like, do later parts of the game without Goofy in the party? I've never really tested that. Well, I mean, you have to, because he's dead forever. <laughs> <laughs> on, I really want... Do, do I have Magnet Spiral? Or, um... Oh my god. Get out of here. There we go. Oh yeah, this part is kind of cool because you do like small little mob fights, but like a different Final Fantasy hero like helps you for each one. So here's a Leon slash Squall. There he is. From 8. Have you ever played 8? I haven't played a single Final Fantasy. Oh, okay. Oh, you just like the memes. Okay. <laughs> Well, okay, I never grew up with expensive consoles as a kid. What did you grow up with? I know you have a Switch. When it came to things I grew up with, the only things we could really get were, like, the DS. Oh. And then, like, I had, like, an N64, but that was given to me by, by my sister, along with a couple, like, Game Boys. There's a Final Fantasy IV remake on the DS that's pretty good. It's also pretty hard, like, it's probably the hardest version of that game for, like, no reason. I mean, I naturally also had a PC, there so go. I could play the good video games, like LEGO Star Wars. <laughs> I think there's a fun thing, funny thing where it's like, a lot of, like, properties, I don't- I never really saw their original thing, I just played the LEGO game. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like when I played the game. Yeah. So like I never watched Harry Potter. I just played the video oh, game. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna revert. I never, <laughs> I never like oh, that's... saw. I never saw Indiana Jones or Pirates of the Caribbean. I just played the Lego games. <laughs> uh, that's an ugly formation. This is a bad choice for a move to. Yeah. Uh oh. I might be in trouble here. Nope, nope, I think I got this. There we go, okay. That was a little hairy, actually. I, I shouldn't have had that much trouble with that. <laughs> I, my muscle memory again. Okay, Goofy comes back in that <laughs> scene. <laughs> He's just alive again. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Resurrected from the dead. I'll send you, like, the video on Twitter or on, like, on, like, uh, YouTube later. Protect auto-healing, auto-change once more, damage control, damage control. See, the, the cutscene I didn't see was when you see, uh, Mickey Mouse putting all of Goofy's organs back into his body. Yeah, yeah, just, just use what you want. Oh my god, I forgot the cosmic <laughs> arts was that good. I'm gonna put that on, actually. Yeah, that's a flat upgrade. Oh, I, I got Wisdom Form! <laughs> a little late for that, but okay. <laughs> that's the final Dry Form. Wait, no it isn't! I'm still missing Master Form! <laughs> Why did I get, like, no no forms in this playthrough? I love the, the forms. There's Sliding Dash. You just weren't allowed to play the video game. <laughs> Alright, this is another section you might be aware of, actually, because this is another pretty infamous fight. This is the Thousand Heartless battle. Have you ever seen this before? I think I vaguely remember something like this, and then, like, Sephiroth happens right, right after. I think, yeah, this is, like, a similar area. 
This part is so hype, like, you gotta keep in mind, this game came out in, like, 2004 on the PS2. This isn't a thousand models rendered in this area. Instead, what's going on is, like, the ones away in the background are modeled as sprites, but, like, it still looks good. Like, it's kind of hard Damn, to busy tell. Damn, to us as usual. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell unless, like, you actively go out there and look. <laughs> I love this part. This is so cool. It's also, like, one of the best grinding spots, like, in the main game. There's an ability um, you can get pretty soon-ish around here, or a keyblade you get kind of around here called the Gullwing, and it makes it so if you um, are at a quarter life, you get double experience. So what some players will do is they'll, like, just deliberately let these characters pot shot them and then just, like, get a bunch of experience here, and it's a very easy way to get several levels. Because these enemies are not that bad. It's more about the spectacle of this fight than anything. As usual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, this hard stuff. And Look at up. how cool our console is. The PS2 is really hyped, though. <laughs> Did you I mean, I guess it has Star Wars games on it. Did you have a PS2? No, no. I just told you. <laughs> Well, the, it, it is, like, the best-selling console of all time or something, aside from the Wii, so, unless that was just kind of, maybe you did. <laughs> I'm gonna go into this. Back off. Oh, I do have MP Rage good, which means I can spam um, this every time I take damage. Oh, I leveled up Limit Form. Got a pretty bad item for it, though. Man, there sure are a lot of guys around. I'm almost done. <laughs> that move where you, like, put Magnet on yourself is so satisfying. I know that wasn't in the original version. That was a Final Mix ability. This Final Mix added so much. <laughs> Giga Impact. <laughs> What'd you cook, by the way? I knew you got some food earlier. Yeah. Although, I'm also just watching the stream suffer. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know it. why it's doing that. It really shouldn't be doing that. And here's the last guy. I can just throw my keyblade at him. There we go. Platinum ring, which is not a good item. And then Sora lost his keyblade forever. <laughs> oh, reflect leveled up. Fire leveled up. Okay. All right. Let's go see what boss replaced um, Sephiroth, and then we'll actually do Sephiroth. Oh, here's where you get the gold wing. Oh, you don't get this right now, or right, you don't get this before the world. Those characters are from Final Fantasy X, too. Like some HP increased. Final Fantasy X, too. I can't believe they came out with 20 already. <laughs> I mean, isn't Final Fantasy on, like, 17 by now? It's, uh, 16 is in the works right now. I was close. They're at a point now where, like, each one takes them, like, eight years to complete because they really want to make sure they're good when they come out. I'm one of those weirdos who actually likes modern Final Fantasy games. They also got that, like, Sonic thing where people are like, Oh, the, the, the new ones are just bad. Like, Well, with Sonic, it's true. <laughs> oh, come on. I know friends who love Frontiers. I'm actually going to try Frontiers. The, the first soon. good game in decades. <laughs> 
There he is. Also, there he is. Sephiroth. All right, let's see what what. <laughs> Do you want to see this scene? <laughs> yes. It's me. Hmm. By the way, you three. That seems a little weird because you do fight him in the first game, so I guess that's not canon or something. Well, that's an interesting. Ah, so the first game isn't canon, but Star Wars is more confusing. <laughs> Specifically, the the platinum match isn't canon because that's where you fight Sephiroth. And I suppose Dude, the, the Sephiroth fight is so weird in the first game. Like, there's no context to it. He's just in Olympus Coliseum. Like you, you pick. He just like, shows up. You pick the cup to fight him, and then oh, it's just him. Oh my god! <laughs> it's Grim Reaper oh, too. Oh look, it's that guy. It's Grim Reaper too. Uh, this is typically the chapter boss of um of Port Royal. Yeah, I remember. I saw him in the cutscene. Yeah, right before the game crashed. <laughs> this fight's kind of. I'm glad this. <laughs> I'm glad this guy's on the same level as Sithroth. <laughs> this fight's kind of cool. He gets actually. his music and everything. There we go. He's got this gimmick that like actually plays into the movie, where like you have to um, you have to like collect the medallions and then throw them into this giant chest to make him vulnerable to damage. It's kind of cool. It's like one of the few fights in the game where you're like required to actually use magic. Typically, you're not doing this fight solo, either. <laughs> oh, okay, we're back on this. Uh, okay, Limit Form does not have magic, so I need to revert. Oh my god, this fight with the, with the Sephiroth theme is so funny. I was saying. I told you he's on the same level as Sephiroth. He has his music. <laughs> An option with the randomizer that I saw but didn't really play. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> and just like the Sephiroth fight, you get owned. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I do love that fight, but it's a little tedious, so I think we're just gonna move on, because I did just want I did just want to see who replaced Sephiroth. <laughs> yeah. Um And now we shall see Alright, do you wanna real see Sephiroth. Do you wanna see cringe or do you wanna see real Sephiroth? Well we gotta fight Sephiroth. Okay, we'll do real Sephiroth. So Sephiroth got repla or replaced Lark scene? Who is here? Are these little portals? These are characters who are technically dead at this point, but you can fight like they're ghosts. And there's not really much story significance. They kind of just put these here so you have an excuse to fight all 13 organization members in this game. <laughs> Alright, so she's gone here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I like That's this fight enough. a lot. I like this fight a lot. In glorious zero frames per second. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed his goofy ass run in this game. I mean, he's got like more wings. <laughs> oh god, this fight! Oh, this guy. Gotta attack. walk around him. That attack right there where he, like, raises himself into the air and says, Descend, Heartless Angel. If you let him, like, pull off the full cooldown of that attack, it he does a move that drains all of your MP and all of your HP. Also, you don't get to- Oh god, this! This is his DM. Uh, I can't see <laughs> myself! There's so much fire! Let's do Duck Flare. Look at this. <laughs> I love Duck Flare. <laughs> it sure would have been nice to see that. <laughs> you just fire, you fire a million rockets at the enemy. <laughs> oh, see, that's simply what Cloud should have done. <laughs> oh, hi, Lark scene. 
<laughs> you need Donald Duck to do that attack, though. And there we go, that's that's the Sephiroth boss. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna show you cringe now, and then we can do the final boss. <laughs> See, if Port Royal didn't crash, then we'd be seeing the real Sephiroth. <laughs> Sephiroth. Do you want to... So, okay, do you know what world this is? Or what movie this is? Yeah, I'm Lore Maids. This is Lore Maids. <laughs> <laughs> Lore maids. Uh, and in the first game, this was kind of like a normal world, but like, you know, you fought and stuff, and you were just underwater. Uh, for some reason, in this game, Atlantica is a Disney sing-along minigame. It's a shitty rhythm game. With really uh, ter yes. <laughs> With really terrible original music. <laughs> I just need you to see this. I need you to suffer through Finny fun with me. This even- this- <laughs> this minigame even has a colloquial name in the community. They call it Finny fun and they say it kills everyone because it's just so bad. Have you ever died from <laughs> cringe? You're gonna die from cringe playing this. Well, I haven't died from cringe, but I have been stunlocked by cringe. <laughs> and that's YouTube ads. Have you ever seen an ad on YouTube so bad it stunlocks you and you're forced to watch it because all of your organs failed? All, all the time. <laughs> Swim this way, we'll dance and we'll play now. It's very easy coming and just take a chance and shake a fit. <laughs> There's only two and you redeeming- you wonder why you're so easily bullied. There's only two redeeming factors to this world. One, you get my favorite Keyblade in the game for doing it all, the Mysterious Abyss. And secondly, um, okay, if you look up the Japanese version, Donald singing in Japanese is really funny. <laughs> Alright, here's the Q. This dumbass octopus. What do you mean? Don't be so mean to him. He's trying his best. <laughs> How much effort was put into the Like, the animation is good, but, like, just why? <laughs> Kingdom Hearts really needed to get all that Disney money. This stunlocked me so much that to this day I have yet to play Melody of Memories. Like the phrase the phrase Kingdom Hearts rhythm game is just ruined forever for me because like because of this. <laughs> well see, you, you have to get a you have to get it on Switch so you can get that song in Smash. I probably will get it on Switch if I ever get it someday. Well you have to so you can get the song in Smash. <laughs> Cause they pay you all this a single song behind a a full game. <laughs> Which also, was probably a Disney decision. <laughs> I also need to know if there's Yuzora lore in there, because I need to know more about Yuzora. <laughs> I mean, everything's canon. Alright, alright, we're never doing that again. Well, I, I will be doing that eventually, whenever I let's play the game, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do the final boss. Now, the final <laughs> boss, too, is... Parts of the final boss are randomized, so I don't know, like... I don't know exactly, like, how challenging this is going to be. Wait, what do I do here? Do I have to talk to Mickey? <laughs> Typically, you can enter the door? I mean, you haven't beaten Port Royal. You haven't beaten the video game yet. You don't have to beat all of them, right? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> Wait, seriously? It would, sure, it would sure end real quickly if you had to. Oh my god, that sucks. Uh... What if I not completed? That world is kind of roadblocked for me, too. Uh... 
What, you can't fight Roxas and Scar at the same time? I can't time? fight Roxas because Scar keeps T-posing me because his attack animations require me to be a lion. <laughs> and then Roxas just combos <laughs> off of that and instantly kills me. <laughs> yeah, imagine, like, like one of the hardest fights in the game, but also you can randomly go into a T-pose. It's like, that. that's what that is. I don't... Do you need the proofs to beat this? I didn't think you did. I might not be able to complete this. <laughs> I mean, just in my head, I imagine you beat all the things and then you can finish the game. <laughs> Oh, you don't even have to do that in, in the base game. I think you just have to, like, uh, unlock a, uh, the third visit to Twilight Town, then you can just beeline to the final boss. Item slot. Shock charm. Hmm. I don't know if I examined this. Does it say anything? No. Oh, God damn it. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna open up the randomizer, like log and see if it maybe tells me where the proofs are. There it is, spoiler log. Party item placement. Form experience data, level experience data, item location weights. Oh! I think I found it. Proof of Peace, Proof of Connection. Okay, which one am I missing? There are three proofs. I have pre Peace and Connection, so I need Proof of Non-Existence. Don't ask. <laughs> How does this work exactly? Does that mean it's in place of where the building site map usually is, or...? Location item. Okay, I, I think I know how this is read. Mining area dark remembrance map. I think I have to go to the cavern of remembrance to find the proof. Fine, I guess we're doing a bit of it. <laughs> oh my god. If you want to dip out right now, actually, you're more than welcome to. I just wanted to show you those sec those things right there. <laughs> huh? You cut out. Oh. Oh my god, even the, the Discord call is, like, screwing up now. I said, yeah. I, I, I think what the game is going to have me do is go to the Cavern of Remembrance to grab an item, and I don't know how deep in it is. I was just going to say, if you want to, like, dip now, no harm in it, dude. I just, just I showed you the things I you wanted to show you. You cut out again. If you want to leave, you can. I showed you the stuff I wanted to show you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I, th this will be where, this is, this is where I get off. And I'm going to go make the Sephiroth thumbnail. <laughs> Re if, remember to slander Kingdom Hearts in the comments. Bye. I'll, I'll DM you um, right before I try the final boss. If you join at that, if you're around to join at that point, cool. If not, so be it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to go and play a, a good game known as Half-Life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, you See you later, dude. audience. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where is the Cavern of Remembrance map again? <laughs> what, what is this randomizer? It's a... Actually, where do I go, actually? I think I have to do that section where you have to, like... Yeah, I gotta, like, go down here and, um... Do this, uh, quote-unquote puzzle. I think I have, I have my damn just high enough to make this work. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and now the cavern is activated. <clears throat> Dude, I want more.
more like like traditional dungeons like this in this series. This is so cool. Cornerstone Hill map. I don't need those. There we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see if that actually unlocked the final boss. Maybe I do need to beat the first world of like every game, or the first like boss of every, the the, the first visit to every world. That would make sense. I think that you had to do that in the original game, aside from like Pride Lands. I do have all three proofs now, so let's just see what this does. I could have sworn, like, my friend told me that, like, accessing the computer, like, warped you to the final boss if you have all three proofs. <laughs> ah! Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Typing. You must suffer without me. O okay, Cosmic. <laughs> well, I guess we're doing the final boss solo. I <laughs> this mad lad, hold on. Okay, LMAO. <laughs> Find yourself a friend who, like, just leaves you to do the final boss by yourself. <laughs> Look on the bright side, this means that Cossack will be able to do all this flippy shit by themselves one day when they eventually play this game. <laughs> Whoa, where's the reaction command? Also, that did a lot of damage. Oh, wait. I'm just gonna open their DMs on my phone. Uh, hold on. <laughs> It's not showing up on my phone. Oh, okay, it's just Discord auto disconnecting me. Okay, fine. That had to be a notification? Wait, okay. Discord's weird sometimes. <laughs> uh, one last thing I want to do. Yeah, 
Chicken Little. I didn't use Chicken Little at all in the... <laughs> oh my god, I need to see Cosmic's reaction to Chicken Little. Dude, Chicken Little is so OP. <laughs> like, it's, look at this. I don't have to do anything. How did you get over here? These things are weak, or I mean, to magnet, or to, to thunder. All right, there we go. Oh my God, hostile program! Oh, this is a cramped arena for a boss like this. I, I, can you move? Okay, you can move. <laughs> Ah, the cluster meter. <laughs> that will tell you how clustery something is. <laughs> Thanks, regular pet. <laughs> I'm gonna dismiss you. Wait, what? I thought I dismissed you. Get out of here. I was gonna finish you off with a... <laughs> Gonna finish you off with Duck Flare. And yes, I said finish off. Like this, this ability is that broken. Oh wow, he's actually immune to damage. I guess I do have to like use this on him. Okay, just just freeze him. The one time I will use Wisdom Form in this playthrough. God, where is Master Form actually now that I think about it? I saw Luxord's card there too. I know that fight typically has like... Oh my god, this thing! I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of surprised these bosses are randomized. Oh god, I hate that. This is like one of my least favorite fights in the game. Oh god, we're at this part. Uh, I, where are your other parts, actually? Where are you going? Huh? Um. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh my god, I can't do anything. I, can you get over here and maybe attack me? Okay, you're coming this way. We've learned, or I've learned uh, from, uh, I've learned from Roxas Scar that if you get hit in a T-pose, you get knocked out of it, I think. There we go, okay, that was weird. Oh! I can't believe Cosmic missed that. <laughs> I forgot it was in limit form. <laughs> Oh, thank you.
Nice. Anger and hate. Anger and hater soup. Let's go. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Had like second chance of once more during my first randomizer, so like this should actually be a lot easier. I don't have to spam limits anymore, instead, I can spam uh, these things. Or I can spam drives. Oh god! Didn't quite expect that. <laughs> This part was until a little later. Oh god, I never failed that before. I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Use that. Hold on. Good. Okay, and then we'll go into limit form again. Oh, no, no, we're at this part, okay. I keep thinking you can skip that. <laughs>
Alright, lock on, jump, blizzard. Nice! Alright, well, that's... That randomizer went a lot hairier than the last one, but, like, we, we eventually did do it. <laughs> I never noticed how angry Sora looked in that at the start of that cutscene. Oh, there we go! <laughs> ah, dude, dude, these randomizers are so fun. They, they go AWOL a lot, but, like, I really enjoy doing these. I think two back-to-back -back is more than enough for now, though. <laughs> I actually do have one, um, I would like to do one more Kingdom Hearts playthrough before I get back to, like, other stuff. Um, and it's actually going to be a, um, a blind run of Birth by Sleep. I'm not playing it blind, though. Uh, Aaron is. So if you guys, like, for those of you who like, uh, the, the Aaron playthroughs, uh, look forward to that, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, and I know Cosmic didn't stick around for most of it, but like, thanks again to them for uh, for showing up for this as well. Go go commission Cosmic to do funny art. <laughs> All right then, I will see you folks later. Thanks for watching.